The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Trade What You See with your host, Larry Pezzavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pezzavento. Good morning, everyone. Uh, well, to start it off with the uh, what I think uh, is important last night, we had three things. We had the S&P 500 futures go below yesterday's low by one tick. Uh, we've since rallied about 12 points. Uh, the NASDAQ uh, was only able to make a 786 retracement of yesterday's range. Now, I was listening to John Logan's uh, show right before this one, and I was... Um, uh, really interested in what he said about how the distribution of these stocks, there seems to be an overhang of supply, and I'm I'm certainly sensing that. And every time the market rallies, the next thing you turn around and look, it's back down again. One of these times, it's not going to see the rearview mirror. And uh, there's just too many people out there that are very, very complacent. And, uh, you know, we got some lower tops and lower bottoms in the New York Stock Exchange Index since May 18th. And uh, we are starting, you know, to trend uh, to trend lower. We had a lot of activity, uh, at least fun activity, uh, in the currencies overnight. Uh, we started a new service here uh, for Tom O'Brien. Uh, I'm going to be doing a thing called Fibonacci 24/7, and what I try to do is to uh, alert you of things that I see occurring. Uh, that could be happening, you know, right in the middle of the uh, evening or whenever it happens to be, I'm going to send out a chart or a video to show the folks, you know, what I'm looking at at that particular time. And the one I'll, I'll show you now is the uh, euro. Uh, this was occurring uh, at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got a, my alert went off to tell me that we were getting close. Uh, I went to the machine. I saw where we were. I got the chart ready. I sent it over to um, Tom O'Brien, and then they send it out to the folks that subscribe to it. I believe it's $47 for the first month and then $95 after that. And it's it's money back guaranteed. So if you're not happy, you know, talk to Tom. You know, he's got deep pockets, so he'll give you your money back. Anyway, uh, and what I try to do is uh, I'm very good at these patterns. I uh, A lot of things I'm not good at, but patterns I'm very good at. And I've been watching them for so long. And what I try to do is to match them up so you don't have to, you know, risk an arm and a leg. We actually have a head and shoulders pattern on this euro trade also. The good part of it was it broke all the way down to the 786 retracement of the June 12th low. It broke well over 100 and some pips uh, to the down. Well, I think it's 130 pips to the downside, which is a huge move in the euro in a matter of a few hours. So those are the types of things that I try to, you know, to pinpoint to see if uh, if they're going to work uh, or not. But there'll be a, usually I'm going to do a couple a day. You'll get a chart or a video uh, describing one pattern. It'll be a stock index. It could be a future. It could be a ETF. Whatever is on my menu for that day, that's what I'm going to be watching. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do uh, each day and see how this works, and we'll have a lot of fun uh, doing it. We do have um, the market getting ready to open here pretty soon. Uh, we've been down quite a bit. We've rallied back. Uh, my, my assumption is there's probably going to be some buying coming in, but folks, every time this thing's had a little bit of buying recently over the last three or four days, it gets hit really hard. That's usually not a very good sign. Uh, you know, going back and looking at, uh, you know, what's happened in the past, you know, for, uh, you know, what's really going on uh, in the market. So we'll uh, watch that very, very closely this morning because we could easily rally up to the 61% uh, retracement of the last three days range uh, in the S&P. And that would take us all the way up to the, um, uh, what did I say, I think it'd be 20, uh, around about 2090, I believe. You could rally another 18 points from where we are right now, just like we did uh, on the uh, on the 9th uh, when we had that mercury going direct. You could have a, literally a, you know, a vertical move up in there, and then the next day you look around, and there she is back down again. That's not how bull markets act, folks. That's how bear market acts. Those are short-covering rallies, and they really don't, uh, they really don't uh, make, the, uh, make the grade very often. Um, I wanted to uh, focus here just a little bit on the larger ABCD pattern here in this S&P because uh, we had the gap down the other day. 
Uh, and if you'll notice here, we have a large ABCD pattern forming down around the 2042 level uh, where the 786 retracement comes in. We have the big ABCD there. Uh, that means we would be taking out the May lows uh, without uh, too much trouble. But we haven't taken out the June lows yet. Uh, the NASDAQ did by a, a tick or two yesterday, and then today it retested the 786 of that. So there's a possibility we could get a pretty good rally here. So you want to keep that in mind. You're, you're going to know probably in the first hour because if there's not a lot of buying coming in uh, today like we had on the 9th of June, uh, then be, be careful because this thing could have a, uh, a pretty uh, steep decline without, uh, without too much trouble. So watch this uh, early opening. The first uh, Well, we'll be here for the first uh, uh, half hour of trading, and we'll see what, uh, how the things actually go. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-66. Four eight, and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them uh, if I can. And if I can't, I will try to find someone that has the answer. Uh, that's the you know the bottom line of uh, what we're watching here. Now there's a trade uh, uh, coming up here that looks uh, very very interesting here. Oh, they're they're hitting the gold market here pretty good, which I was glad to see because we had that two day rally. And frankly, folks, after you look at gold and silver, it is really hard to be uh, bullish these metals. I mean, they're just uh, they're just it's just really hard. Uh, silver looks so bad that it's. Uh, you know, I think they're going to have that funeral that they planned at the Merck last week because it looks like we're going to go below the 1580 level, and uh, that would really be, a, you know, really be a big, uh, really big move to the downside. So, these are some of the things that uh, we're keeping an eye on this morning. This early morning, uh, this morning is going to be very important for two reasons. One is we were able to take out yesterday's low in the S&P futures. Not a lot. I mean, it's not a you know it's not a big thing with the S&P futures, but the Nasdaq was only able to hit 786 that previous day. So there was buying coming in. Now, if this buying comes in right after the opening here that we have, then then we've got something where the market could have a nice rally. Uh, as you can see from that chart that I posted in the Nasdaq, we could get an ABCD move, uh, taking us all the way up to the 45 you know, 60, 45, 70 level, another 40 or 50 points higher than NASDAQ and still be bearish. That would be nothing more than a than a big ABCD move, you know, to the downside. That's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, what I'm looking at. Now, I wanted to do something just a tiny bit different today to get you an idea of what I'm doing when I do these um, charts for the uh, Fibonacci 24-7 for TFNN. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk you through one that I'm getting ready to put out. I sent this out earlier last night when the um, euro was doing its thing because we were getting close uh, in the uh, British pound. But uh, what you're seeing here now is a four-hour chart uh, in the British pound. And if you'll notice, uh, we have a, a three drive to a top pattern uh, coming in at the uh, 786 level. Uh, we have a bearish butterfly occurring at that time. We have a bearish Gartley going all the way back from the uh, May 13th level. And that all comes in about 60 pips from where we are right now. Now, we've had a really wild day here in the British pound um, on a relative basis. We, we made a slightly higher high than yesterday. And that completed the first of the three drive patterns, and the market broke 120 pips. And then in the matter of about two hours, what did it do? It went right back up again, testing it. So I believe real strongly that we still got a chance to make that uh, 156.70 level. So this is the type of analysis that I'm going to be uh, doing for you uh, with a video or with a chart, giving you an idea of, uh, you know, what I'm watching and what I'm looking at. The one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to give you a buy signal, say buy it here, sell it here. I don't need that kind of stress in my life. you got to do responsibility for yourself. So I'm going to give you the patterns to look at, and I'm going to show you what we're looking at as far as risk. But you got to put the order in. I don't want to have anything to do with that for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> and I'm sure they're, they're self-evident, but uh, that I don't need. But keep an eye on this uh, British pound up here if this 156.70 level because, boy, it's got a lot of stuff going for it. We've been in a two-week rally in a bear market. Um, boy, that's that's a kind you you know you'd like to see uh, on the menu. But uh, watch it very very closely. It's uh, interesting of where we are. Um, Silver has broken down. Let me put silver up here. Someone's asked a question about silver, and I'll just get it up here because I know it's been looking so sick. I mean, it's just. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're already down to, well, we're getting close to the old line again, so hold on just a second. We're down near that support line. One more time, as a matter of fact, this is it. Um, 
this is where you want to be watching silver. If you like silver, you got to like it right now. That's uh, that's it. Let's just put this up here, and you'll see your setting. Ah, didn't draw it right. One second here. Some of these little uh, tools are a little so sensitive. Ah, okay. Let's relax a little bit here and get down here to this level here. Uh, it's going to be as close as I can get. Yeah. That's it. These, the, the, the low is off by just a little bit because of the sensitivity, but we're right at the uh, major support. We've had the 135 uh, pattern in the um, to silver over the, the four day period where you had the higher bottoms. That's the old Roy Longstreet thing. And now you've had the 786 pullback this morning at 1590. Uh, low was 1589, and we're trading at 1592 now, and that's the ABCD to the downside. As long as silver can stay above 1580, uh, it's got it's got a, a small chance. Uh, you know, it's a chance, but it is a small chance. Anything below 1580 uh, is in real. It's in real serious trouble. That's uh, that's pretty much the bottom line of what we're watching uh, in the uh, silver uh, today. And the gold is pretty much the the same thing. But we'll we'll look at gold here. It has a little bit different picture. We just had a little sell off here of about five bucks. It looks like a a lot when you're watching uh, intraday, but you know, longer term. It doesn't really uh, doesn't really affect it. We'll get this uh, get this hourly chart here in the gold, so you can see where we are. We're still having higher bottoms, acting quite nicely. Uh, here again, you would be a, this would be the spot where you'd be wanting to uh, you know to look at gold, with the exception of this last little bit of uh, down move that we had because it was um, it happened so quickly, and we're setting below the 61 percent retracement now so you got to see how gold's going to hold 1175 level based on what uh, what we're looking at for early today and folks these commodities are getting well beans rallied a little bit I mean it's a dead cat bounce in my opinion but you know we got wheat and corn under a lot of pressure copper I mean all these things are getting hit and those are deflationary sequences uh, I know we're going to have a well I don't know but I'm assuming we're going to have a very quick uh, interest rate rise by the Fed here very quickly. That's my guess. Uh, the markets are acting like it, and that's what I think is going to happen. Whether it is or not, you know, certainly remains to be seen, but we want to uh, watch it with a great deal of importance because, you know, quantitative easing was the thing that made this thing go up, and it will be the thing that makes it come down, most probably. I think we got ready for a little break here, and then we'll be right back, and uh, after a few words from our sponsor, I believe, is coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'm trying to have Rich Anderson as our guest tomorrow, and I'm trying to have Bill Meridian come on as our guest on Friday. You know, Bill alerted us to that panic cycle uh, way back um, several months ago, and it's supposed to be due, you know, sometime in July, and we're coming near July. We'll be right back after these few words. Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. 
Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days, and will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, I put the chart of the uh, NASDAQ 15 minute chart. What's happened over the last few days? I had a question about the possibility of an ABCD pattern forming uh, in the NASDAQ. Uh, we have uh, made the 61% retracement back. Last night, we made the exact 786 retracement from the previous day's low. That's when the S&P was making a low. And I will post the S&P right after we talk about the NASDAQ here. But you can see here, uh, just looking at the structure of this ABCD pattern, uh, we could very easily get up about 35 or 40 points uh, in the NASDAQ. Right now, we're still down on the day by about 8 or 9 points. And uh, with the early morning uh, getting ready to buy here, we're going to find out how much uh, oomph that it has to the upside. Because if we turn around and go back below that 786 level now, uh, that's going to be uh, pretty, uh, pretty negative in my opinion. But, you know, these markets are very skittish, so um, you got to be prepared that sometimes, you know, they can have these uh, counter trend rallies. And that would be a, uh, a good selling place, I believe, in the NASDAQ because that would be the first really good ABCD pattern that we've had, you know, over the last few days. We didn't get anything last week because the market basically exploded uh, with volume of uh, or upside volume of 5 to 1, if you remember back on the 9th and 10th. And, uh, of course, it reversed all of that, but um, th that didn't give you a chance. This one will give you a, a nice chance by looking at a pattern. And Gartley said, you know, sell the first ABCD pattern in a bear market or buy the first ABCD pattern in the bull market. That's really what you'd uh, like to uh, take a look at. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to post into the uh, Tiger TV the chart, uh, same type of time frame with the E-mini S&P. 
uh, looking. And, and as you can see, last night we did take out the low uh, by just a, a little bit, and we rallied back to 61% retracement of the uh, the range that we had from Sunday. But if you'll notice uh, that gap, we left a gap uh, on Sunday. We almost filled that gap. Um, on early Monday morning when we made a small ABCD pattern right where that red circle is showing. So now what we're looking at is if the market uh, gets really strong here on the open and gets unchanged on today would be the first thing. That would be up another five or six points. We could be looking at an easy rally of another 10 or 15 points up to the 2090. And, you know, maybe it'll go to the 786 at, uh, you know, 2096. And maybe it'll go something higher than that. Uh, who knows? But anyway, that's what we're that's what we're keeping an eye on uh, this morning as we get ready to uh, to open here, and then we'll have a better idea of what's really going on uh, with uh, with both, both the S and P, uh, of course, uh, and, you know, and the Nasdaq. They're both uh, in the same type of a, a situation here of what we're watching. My my time frame today has been focused, or my 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 trading today has been focused a lot on the uh, S&P uh, along with the, um, uh, we have a new moon coming in on the 16th too. That's a tomorrow, I believe, isn't it the new moon? Or maybe it's today. Yeah, we have a new moon today. That'll be interesting too, along with all the other stuff that we have going on. So this will be a very interesting day, but the currency's really had a, a tremendous move in the uh, Euro uh, this morning, which was, uh, you know, very, very uh, pleasant. And now we're watching this, uh, possibility on this on this British pound because we're not very far away we're only about 35 pips away uh, in the British pound uh, to keep to see what's uh, happening with that we're going to be opening here in just a few minutes we got stock futures uh, increasing a little bit which is not an, an unusual coming into the opening the question is is whether they're going to be able to hold that opening range and uh, see if they can rally because we're almost unchanged on the day now uh, in the s p we're only a point away we are un we're almost unchanged in the uh, dow jones also we're just uh, we were down you know about 60 at one time and now we're coming into the opening uh, about unchanged on the day so that'll be a an interesting uh, thing to uh, keep an eye on. Um, we've got uh, silver still down on the day, uh, down about 16 cents. Gold's down about seven dollars. Uh, they're both holding uh, by a thread, but they are holding, and that's the that's the best thing to, that you can say about it. So we'll watch these uh, very close. Today's a really key day for stocks uh, because of the fact that we made those lower lows in the S and P, and the Nasdaq can only make a seven eight six retracement. So those are the types of things that will happen. So this early morning, the first hour of trading is going to be very important from my perspective because the market's got to have, we've, you know, we've rallied back overnight, which is lighter volume, of course, and now we're coming into a situation where the buying's got to continue after the market opens, the real buying, you know, of the, the real dollars and cents, not just the crazies in the futures market. It's the real thing of, uh, you know, looking at what the market's really trying to do. So when we get back from the break, we'll get our first indication of, of, you know how how uh, quick it is but if we start down and start down hard be really careful folks on the long side because this thing is on thin ice uh, John Logan really hit the nail on the head about the distribution so we'll be right back after these few words Quiet Markets investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesamento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, well, the first five minutes came and gone, and we did get the S&P uh, unchanged on the day for just about 10 seconds. Uh, now we're down a couple of points. The NASDAQ is still down about six. The Dow's down about 20. Dow didn't quite make it back to uh, unchanged on the day, but it's still very, very early. Uh, in the. you got to wait for the first hour. That's when the... You know when the uh, the soldiers get out and load their guns and stuff. So we're still in an area where we could easily go up and get quite a bit stronger than you know where we are right now. We're down just a little bit, which is normal. Um, the key for me is I'm really watching this British pound that we mentioned uh, earlier in the show. We're not very far away. We're only about 40 pips away uh, from the final leg of this, if this is correct. So we want to watch that. Uh, you know, very, very closely. Now, we're also having a situation uh, in the grain markets. We're getting a little bit of a bounce. I mean, corn is screaming up a quarter of a cent, and uh, wheat is up about two cents. Uh, beans, is, beans are up about a nickel, but uh, not really much happening. I'm watching uh, November beans here because if we get November beans down to the um, 902, 903 level, I'm going to try it again. Uh, every time they backed off there, uh, they've held and had some kind of a rally, so we want to keep an eye on that, uh, you know, very, very closely uh, for sure. So we finally got back up on the S&P today. Uh, it's up on the day. The Dow's up a point, 
and NASDAQ is down a little bit, so we're still in this uh, this consolidation of the opening, and we'll see if they bring in more buying. Usually when it gets back to unchanged after being down as much as it was, uh, you'll get more more buying coming in, and uh, now we, we've certainly done that. We've uh, up on the Dow, and we're up on the S&P. NASDAQ is up, uh, up also, so we got all three indices uh, have turned around, and we'll watch uh, if they're going to continue. You, you really got to go through this first hour. Uh, that's the key, but we do have the possibility of that big ABCD uh, in the NASDAQ, so you want to watch that uh, closely to uh, see if it uh, does get there, because if it does, it still would be uh, in the sell mode as near uh, as uh, my analysis uh, tells me anyway, so we'll keep a really close eye uh, you know, on that for you, but where the number on that uh, Nasdaq takes you up to 4460. Uh, that's 32 points from where we are now. That would be a pretty good run. You'd get the Dow up over 100 uh, during that time. Right now, we got the Dow up about 12, and um, S and P's up a couple, and the Nasdaq is uh, up about. Uh, it's moving pretty good now. It's up about 17, so it's starting to. Oh, excuse me. It's only up a point and a half. I got the d decimals wrong. So it'll be the first hour or so before we really get the um, indication of how much the rally is, is going to be. So we'll watch that uh, for us also. My main focus, focus as I'm doing this show, is I've got one eye uh, on the uh, British pound because I've got an order setting in there, and it's, it's acting the way I like to see it act, grinding its way up there, which is, uh, which is really good. We have a... Um, uh, on my trading platform, one of the one of the functions that I have is is really cool. It's called the Liquall. It's called L I Q A L L, liquidate all. And if I have my finger on that button and I'm I'm watching net equity trade. In other words, I watch the change in my equity, uh, amount of money that I'm making or losing at any one time. And if that hits a critical le level, either on a positive side or the negative side, I hit that button, liquidate all. And uh, I am flat in a matter of seconds. I mean, years ago, this took a very, very long time to do, but now it's pretty much instantaneous. So, uh, you know, that's the, the main thing. We're, we're picking up speed here now. We got the Dow up about uh, 40, so we're going to have one of these nice running uh, markets that we've uh, uh, come to expect. So we're running pretty good now. There, the old short covering is in. So that's good. We're going to have a nice rally up here. We'll get a chance to sell it. We'll wait and see after the first hour or so you know what it's doing but uh, it's hanging in there uh, pretty good right now we'll watch it very very closely god bless that liquidate all thing because once we got positive uh, i was very very nervous and i just hit the old button and we'll see what will happen here in the next hour or two and we'll see what's going to happen with the uh, rest of the day but this is nothing more than a uh, short covering rally from my perspective. But the key here is that we did make a lower low in that S&P futures. We didn't do it uh, in the NASDAQ, but uh, that could be important. Uh, we're also breaking down uh, really badly now in silver. We're down 23 cents. We've broken below the key level. Uh, we made new lows here by a dime. We're down at 15.85. Uh, gold's down at uh, 17, uh, 11,750. I think that's not 11,000 in gold. 1175 dollars uh, an ounce. So we're we're looking at uh, quite a bit of a move here uh, in some of these things. So we'll we'll watch those as we uh, proceed through the show today. Uh, we have one other question, and and that uh, from someone was which was about the um, about Apple. Uh, folks, I you know I, I posted that chart of Apple so darn many times. It just gets a well, we're picking up really good speed now. We're up about 60 points uh, in the Dow, and this is this is the short covering type rally, folks. This is what this is what I, I thought we probably would get, and that's in fact what we are getting. And now we'll see uh, you know in this in this after this first hour, that's going to be really key. So uh, pay attention. This is all short covering. It, uh, maybe it is. You know, maybe I'm totally wrong, but uh, this is how. It happens it starts uh, in the middle at, uh, at, at night and now we're we're 20 points higher uh, on the s p from where we were last night so that's a uh, you know that's a big uh, that's a big move uh, on this so keep in mind that this is uh, you know some of the things that uh, we have to be watching when we're when we're looking at these things okay now 
Um, one other thing what we've got here, by the time we get done with this half hour, we could probably be down on the day again, the way these things jump around, so we'll wait and see. Uh, the euro's bounced about uh, 30 pips off, or well, actually bounced, yeah, 35 pips off the bottom, and uh, not done too much, uh, you know, from that perspective. Uh, we now have corn is now down on the day, uh, wheat is almost down on the day, and soybeans are still up a penny or two, but it still looks like they're going to pull back, you know, one or two more times. You know, before they get to these uh, uh, to this 903 level uh, in the uh, November beans, which uh, is the 61 percent retracement uh, off of that move. However, it's really uh, it's really suspect of whether we're going to have a huge move here or not, folks. And the reason reason for that is uh, oh, we're we're up into the gap area. Let's just show this because we just went into the gap area, uh, taking out the highs of Sunday night. Uh, in the S&P, this may or may not mean anything. Uh, just the early morning blast is all it is. And uh, we did get up into that le level, but I'm looking at possibility of 2090 uh, in the S&P. So there's a, still that possibility. Now, what I wanted to talk about here, uh, since I don't do a regular commodity show, is I wanted to uh, bring out the, uh, the soybean uh, pattern that we looked, looked at back on uh, May 26th. Uh, we had a pretty good run in that. Uh, it got all the way up to the um, uh, 932 level. Then we went all the way back and we uh, matched the low that we made uh, during that time, which was at 896. Uh, and then we rallied up to 915. And now we're pulling back one more time here. And so I'm going to take a look at that one uh, from the long side uh, on the beans at 903, risking about uh, six cents. Uh, so that's something that I want to look at. But this pattern is really suspect, folks. Let me tell you why. It was so perfect with the time down uh, from November to February and March to May. I mean, it was just absolutely perfect. It came in within two days of where it was supposed to bottom. You had two major ratios there, 127, 1 1.618. You had two large ABCD patterns going back over the last six months. You had two butterfly patterns completing at that same price, 903. And you had a three drive to a bottom pattern all coming in at the same time. And you had a pretty good move, then you went up and you backed off again. So um, the overall structure of the timing pattern of this uh, could be totally wrong. The reason why I'm interested in it is because this is the time of the year when you want to be looking to buy soybeans. You don't want to be looking to sell them because, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're in the ground now. And so you want to be able to, uh, you know, try to find a place, you know, to take a look at it here. And we'll see, uh, you know, what happens uh, from this uh, from this level right here that we're watching. So that's really what we're looking at so far. The market's uh, calmed down a little bit so far. Really, not too much happening. Uh, gold is still uh, down quite a bit. Uh, it's down near the 786 retracement down there at the 1175 level. And boy, that's the that's the bottom line, folks. It literally has to hold that level, or it is going to be in uh, real serious trouble. Uh, from my point of view, that's uh, the way it looks from uh, technical land. Uh, and silver looks just absolutely horrible. I, I just don't. Uh, wow, we've almost made the ABCD in the in the Nasdaq, folks. We're almost there. Holy cow! Holy moly! Guacamole! Sometimes this stuff really works. Let's just take a look at it here. We're almost there. Well, that was a nice one. Hold on just a second. Let me get this puppy up here. Wow, we did. We hit it within uh, within a half a penny. Holy cow. Maybe these patterns really do work. Okay, but we're almost up there. We hit uh, 1130, uh, 439 and a half, and the number was 440, so that's pretty close. So we've rallied uh, 20 points off the opening, which is uh, not unusual. This is how these things usually happen, as I mentioned before. It's all, you know, the early morning short covering, and then you see what happens you know, after that, and uh, we'll go from, from that spot. But we get much above, you know, the 450 level, uh, then you're going to be looking at something even more significant because you'd be looking at a 61% retracement. Here again, folks, uh, I really, we really have to watch this. It may or may not mean anything, but technically you have to, you have to pay attention to these things. Look where we are in the NASDAQ. We are right into that gap to the exact tick of where we were. I mean, to the exact tick, 440. 44.40 was the low uh, on the Friday, uh, the 12th, and the high today was 44.40.
I mean, hello. I mean, what? I don't know means anything, but boy, you got to pay attention to it. Now, if we get above that, then you know it doesn't mean much, and it's probably going to go, you know, a little bit higher. But this is uh, the ABC ABCD structure, and we'll uh, we'll see if that's going to be uh, if that's going to be the case. That's uh, really all you can do. Okay. Uh, we have oh someone Marie from Pennsylvania. Are you there? Yes. Good morning to you. And how is Marie today? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. And you want to know about natural gas? Yes. It uh, had been acting very well, and I was wondering if I should expect it to continue. Okay. Let me uh, take a look at it here. I don't trade it very often, but I'll do a daily here, and we'll look at it. And uh, oh, it's down a little bit today, but you got to be really careful here, Marie, because you're up against some really serious 61% uh, retracement stuff. I would be, um, I would lower my, st I'm sure you bought it a lot lower, but uh, let me just draw this in so that you can see it. Boy, it's it's hit the 61% retracement. Uh, I'm going to draw this um, circle here so you can see how many times it hit it. There we go. You'll see the natural gas here, and um, you'll notice that we're right at the level where we hit the 61% retracement up there at 2.92 several times. Mm -hmm. And now you're down on the day. I would I would raise your stop on that really close. I wouldn't give it any. Okay. Any, well, I uh, actually sold it two days ago. Okay, uh, that's the right thing to do. And then wait till it gets down to 269, and I'd take a look at it there. But you did the right thing. Okay, because I was uh, looking to get back in, but I wasn't sure how soon to do that. Well, I wouldn't do anything with that until much. Uh, oh my gosh, at least. Uh, uh, several more days. Let it get down to that level to see if it can get to you know that price. Okay. Two sixty nine is what I would be looking at. That would be a a sixty one percent retracement of the last low to the last high. But you know it stayed there for four days right at the sixty one at two point nine two. Boy, it was screaming. Please let me out. I I hope you get out near that level. Well, I didn't quite get out uh, at the best. But I did get out <laughs> with a profit. So I always no, figure good. if I get a profit, I've done okay. Well, this is a business of making money. It's not a business of being right or wrong. So that's a good uh, adage to live by for sure. Do you think the commodities will continue to be under pressure? I don't see any help here, Marie. Uh, no. You know, it just uh, just really doesn't make it uh, you know, makes sense. But, uh, you know, we're having deflation. The Fed doesn't know what to do with it. And I think that's where the real problem lies. And then we'll we'll see what uh, see what happens with that. So. Okie doke. Well, I okay. appreciate your help. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, well, while I was on with Marie, something unusual happened, folks. The um, VIX, my VIX uh, alert went off. And I can't believe it with the stock market rallying. Uh, as much as it is, we got the VIX taking out yesterday's high, and we had a big gap up yesterday. Uh, so that that's interesting why the VIX would be taking out yesterday's high, given the fact that, you know, the market has, uh, you know, rallied, uh, you know, quite a bit. Now, maybe it's going to give up the ghost. Who knows? But uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. So we will keep an eye on that also. Uh, didn't take it out by much. It only took it out by about two or three, two or three more cents, and that's it. The way I would handle this now, you've got your first uh, twenty. You got your first twenty minutes of, tra of trading in. Uh, if we start getting uh, any stronger than uh, twenty eighty two uh, in the S and P, we're most probably going to go up to that twenty ninety level. Uh, that would be equivalent to the Nasdaq going up to the to the uh, 40, uh, 44, 50, 44, 60 level. But this is, uh, has all the characteristics uh, of a bear market uh, rally uh, from, from the perspective that I, that I look at. So that's, uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, just keep an eye on it the way I do. Okay, and another question that we had was about price line. I don't, oh, we're going to take a break here. Okay. Oh, it's just...
You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I've posted into uh, Tiger TV the uh, chart of the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index. Uh, that, to me, is uh, one of my most important stocks, uh, stock, stock charts to watch because it is really the uh, market that uh, is the market of stocks. And as you can see here, uh, we are getting ready to go into that gap area, much like what we did with the NASDAQ. Uh, we also have an ABCD uh, structure uh, down quite a bit. That would be down at the 786. Now, it's important you notice that on the uh, 8th of uh, June, we hit the exact 61% retracement from the low we made back on 
uh, March uh, 20, March 10th, which is our key date. You know, once we get below that, you know, it, uh, all the lights go out. But uh, we did hit the 61% retracement. The, we then rallied very strongly for two days. Then we've come back, and we're right back down to uh, near those lows. But we're, you know, giving a little bit of a rally back so far this morning. But um, the key is, is that we've got a target down here at this 107.90 level, which is, uh, you know, down quite a bit you know, from, from where we are now. The structure uh, is bearish. You've got lower tops. You can see the 135 pattern. Uh, and then you've got lower bottoms. So you're in a downtrend since May uh, 18th. There's no question about that. The question is, how much uh, is, the, uh, is the thing going to rally? Now, what I would do is, in fact, this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to watch to see how the New York Stock Exchange Index handles this gap area because we're right near the highs of the day yesterday. Now, if we just take those highs of the day out by just a tiny bit, then that's telling us that we're most probably are going to be looking at uh, something, uh, you know, a little more sinister. Uh, we did get unchanged on the NASDAQ again, but uh, after that, we've rallied back to be up on the day. So watch the price. Of, uh, we've had the high of the day so far of 2082 in the S&P. If we get above 2084, we're most assuredly going to get uh, 2090 uh, would, be, uh, would be my guess. Uh, so we'll be watching that uh, with a great deal of interest also. Please watch the euro and, the, well, the euro's already done its thing, but the pound is very, very close. It's only about 35 or 40 pips away from that level that we've been watching at um, 150.670. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.